She likes to run away whenever I turn the camera on. Long hell, Larry! And we're up in the UP. It's dark in here. It's not. Yes, it is. It's darkness. So she's hanging up curtains. Because she says, I like to walk out naked. <laughs> I like to walk around naked. I don't know. I don't know why the curtains got to go up, but whatever. Don't want to offend no neighbors. Offend? <laughs> okay. That's if I walk out. All right, so let's start with some of these projects in this house. She tells me I have to actually do something. Just for one day. One day. We played yesterday. <clears throat> Today's a work day. Oh. Well, I'm going to finish this here, putting this brick up. We actually were looking at it. I was thinking about it too. I was thinking about stopping it like right here, leaving this not done. But then I stuck this up here, and we looked at it, and we went, yep, yeah, we're going to do this all the way up. So, I need to cut it, glue it, put it up. You guys have seen this already, so I think what we had to do is uh, the magic of editing just go, wait a minute. Well, look at that. She must have the magic touch. I don't know. I snap my fingers. I guess I'm not Fonzie, but I snap my fingers. It doesn't get done. She does it. Look at that. It's done. It's still got a couple finishing touches um, where I cut on this tile. It's made out of something, I don't know, some lavatory someplace. I don't know. But I don't know. It's not real rock stuff, but it uh, feels like rock, regular rock and stuff. But when you cut into it, it gets these little black things on there. So we're going to touch that up with the same... Kind of match it with the brick and the like all down this here where this 45 is. And then we got to paint the wood underneath there. But that's a designer issue. Me? Yes. Yes. But there you go. So, yeah, I've been working out in the yard. I actually got some of the hay field out there cut and mowed in the front. Kind of tackled. And now I'm working in the backyard cleaning things. Probably should check my fire, make sure that I haven't lit the neighborhood on fire yet. Nope. So yeah, I'm working out a lot here and cleaning and, and picking up garbage and everything else. It's it's a mess out there, guys. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna store my snowmill away for the summertime. But you can see the it's been burning out. I've been out there stomping the fire down. It keeps burning out. I've been actually really tempted to just let it all burn. <laughs> but Tracy keeps yelling at me, you can't do that. I don't have a garden hose hookup on the outside of this house. If I had a garden hose hookup, I would let it burn and just sit there and water around the property. I don't sound like that. Yeah, you do. That's your sound. But um, we've been doing a couple things. We, we got these pictures, really pretty pictures. Um, we went for a cruise on uh, on a side-by-side. -side. What, what do you call it? Quasi. Quasi. I don't know why it's quasi. but. Quasimodo. Okay. But um, we went for a cruise, and uh, we were down by the lake and stuff, and we snapped a couple pictures. And uh, this is out there in the lake and stuff. It was a pretty picture. We had to print it up at Walmart. It actually came out really nice. And uh, this is a picture of the lake, too, here. And um, you can see the lighthouse way out there. That's the entrance to the canal that separates Houghton and Hancock. And uh, our thought is, as we're on our adventures... Snowmobiling and UTV and just driving around and hanging out up here. Once in a while, I'll take pictures of different or different adventures, and we're thinking that we can kind of put it all around. We got this the UP symbol that the drunk carpenter made us, and um, we'll kind of put our adventure pictures around that kind of the pictures of the UP around it. Um, other things we got. I just been kind of doing little odds and ends and stuff. We got these lights mounted on the TV. They're pretty cool. We got them on timers right now. They turn on for five hours and then they turn off for 19 hours. And so what was it, like six? Yeah, it was too late. Oh, it was too late? They were on until almost midnight. Oh, okay, so we gotta turn them back off. We have to do the synchronized thing again. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'll probably turn them on at like five. That's what I was thinking. Then they turn off at like 10. And they sit there and they, she goes, oh, they need new batteries. 
Because they sit there and they glow and they flicker and stuff. And I'm like, why would they do batteries? And he goes, they're flickering. I said, it's supposed to be a candle looking thing. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, those we got those mounted up. And then I mounted um, the drunk carpenter here. He made this floating. Uh, well, guys, my camera, it uh, died out. The battery died out. So I had to uh, charge the battery up. I've just been putzing and doing stuff. And, uh, yeah, you can see my snowmobile's gone now. It's stuck it in the trees back there. We're going to put it up in blocks. We got to be, if we're going to be in the UP, we got to have a vehicle in the trees on blocks. That's a golden rule. <laughs> anyway, chainsaw, cut a little pathway back there. I'm just going to stick it back there and put it up on blocks and then cover with a tarp. It's just my cheap two up. I was actually going to sell it this winter. I never use it anymore. It'd be a great ice fishing snowmobile for somebody. But, um, yeah, got a lot of stuff cleaned up. Um, but we've been working and working in here. And you can see, got this all cleaned up. This was a pile of mess here. We actually found a well. It's right there. It was actually underneath a bunch of rotten wood and a, that somebody had built a deck out there that used to be a front door. And, uh. Actually found a well. <laughs> that was a good deal. And Tyler ran underneath the house. He's like, "Where is the well?" Because the pipe just goes down. And I'm like, how do you drill the well under the house? And I'm like, mm, "Someplace." Well, there it is. We found it. But that's all this piled up just from the front yard cleaning up. We got this all mowed and everything else. And got the four wheelers or the UTV sitting out there. I got the. The box that's mounted on the back, I got that open, get some air in there. It's kind of moldy and stuff. My flask has got mold on it. Got to clean it. From that UTV trip we did and all that rain and everything. Got water in there, I guess. We left it closed up the whole time, so. Got the top off. But. Tracy just got done with work and now she's really excited to go to Walmart. Woohoo. Woohoo. But I gotta tell you, I bought a present for Tracy. Oh. Yes, I think we should have you open the present. Oh. There you go. There is your present. For me. That is just for you. Here's a knife I'm to so open excited. it. Don't don't stab me with the knife when you see what it is. Never cut towards you. I know it. I like to live dangerously. Get it from you. Hmm. Let's see. Bubble. We got stuff. bubble stuff. What is it? Oh yay. It's a windshield wiper. Because you know what she is. A windshield wiper operator. Yes, she's OWC. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. It's for my plasma gun. That's not yours, that's mine. That's yours. Because you're an OW... OW... No. WWO, thank you. Windshield wiper operator. There you go, WWO. You're a WWO slash maintainer. Because my windshield is dirty. Yeah, well, that's you. <laughs> you got it dirty. So the next thing I'm going to start doing is the kitchen. I've been putzing outside all day long, got a lot cleaned up. Uh, we're thinking about renting a bobcat or something, maybe on Thursday or something, to do a lot of the big work out there. But I think I'm going to tackle this kitchen tonight, <clears throat> this afternoon tonight. Uh, change over the stuff the drunk carpenter did, because I don't like what he did. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I had him put those boards in there and... We're gonna change. We're gonna replace them with uh, actual red oak boards so it matches the cabinets. And then I gotta put all the edging on the countertops, all the fake laminate stuff. Put all the plywood on here, and I gotta build the cabinets for the microwave. Yay! Yay! She says she's been waiting for that, so we can get the microwave off the countertop. And I gotta build that and everything and put that in there in the hood and all the stuff for the stove. I actually just called a refrigerator repair place. I know Larry, long haul Larry's gonna call a repair guy. But I think it'd just be easier. I think it's the panel. 
I know people have said he pressed two buttons at one time. Um, three seconds, one, two, three, nothing. It does not come back on. Right there is lock control. Hold for three seconds. There's nothing. So it's probably a circuit board in here or something, some messed up. I think it would be a lot easier to just pay a repair guy come in here, 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and just come in here and go, oh, yep, that, boop, boop, yep, eat, done. You know, no, you know how that goes. So that's what I'm going to do in the kitchen here. So I don't really think it's stuff I need a video and how to or anything else. Cut wood, nail wood. I'll bring you guys back and show you the finished stuff. Pretty easy. But that's what I'm going to be doing. After what? Oh, yeah. I just don't know about her. Okay, the drunk carpenter built her an office desk. He made it the same height as my daughter's office desk at her house. And he thought it was kind of low, but he made it the same height. And... Brought it up here, and she went, oh, that's low. Oh, that's low. So then, was it the drunk carpenter did it? I think it was. It was, but Allie and Sammy agreed it was low. But then the drunk carpenter was up here one time, and okay, fine. So then he cut some 2 by 4s and put them lengthwise underneath the legs, and screwed them up into the legs, raised them up, we measured it, we put it up on 2x4s, I think, let her try it. Yep, that's what I want. Don't shake your head, it's exactly, that is, not okay. that is exactly what happened. We put this thing on 2x4s and you tried it and you said, yep, that's it. That's now you just scratched the floor. And now she's complaining it's too high. She says, my arms are like this, but really they're like this. But she kind of over-exaggerates, but they're like this. She's like, like the desk is over her head now. So now she wants me to take the sack on the garage. And she wants me to cut the 2x4s down there. Half. And then it'll be perfect. The inch, the inch and a half is going to make things a lot different. My life will be wonderful. More. It won't be any different. But by the way, I came walking in here this afternoon. And she goes, did you notice anything? And I says, no. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, I cleaned my desk off. And I actually sat here and I, I had a little lunch. I had some sausage and cheese. I cut it. I came over to the table and I went, um, you just moved everything from the desk onto the table. I don't think that's considered cleaning, to tell you the truth. What do you think? Well, I think we need to uh, test out the windshield wiper. We need to see WWO and skills. on your job.
Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. No, we're not going over there. <laughs> I don't think it'll float. I don't either. Wow. This is right back behind our house. Yeah, she gets a little deeper when you go out here. It's not terrible. No, it just sinks really quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna fall over. I know it. That's not funny. But pretty, huh? It's I mean it's it's kind of swampy stuff, but I mean it's, it's very like pretty. Tadpoles or something, my foot's stuck. <laughs> She's gonna pull her boot up. <laughs> She's stuck. Should we take off and leave her here? <laughs> you can do it. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Well, you did one wipe, I think. Okay. Your sound effects were a little bit off, though. Oh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get better. Quasi is leaking. It's actually washing it off doing this. We didn't come this back far back. We turned around because you were like, there's water back here. There was open water everywhere. I wonder how deep that gets. Should we go try? I love it up here. Should we go try? See how deep it is? No, you go right ahead and let me know. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of tadpoles right there. Yeah. yeah. It's playtime back here. Find the bear. <laughs> Yeah, we found bear poop in our yard. And it was pretty fresh, too. It's crazy how it's firm. There's a couple little mushy spots, but it's pretty firm. It's like really hard packed. I mean, I'm not, there's no weight. It's really super hard underneath the water. I mean, I got my rubber boots on, see? I mean, it's really super hard. Into the max of our boots here. It's getting a little deeper as we go. Oh, that's a boat. That's what that is. Sure enough, it's a boat. <coughs> that's a boat over there. <coughs> There's like a rowboat tipped upside down right over there in those trees. Mm -hmm. Can you see that box? Yeah. That's a boat. That's a tail end of a, a rowboat tipped over. I bet you somebody trapping or hunting or something. I don't know how much battery I have. So if it cuts out, well, everybody have themselves a great day. It's 
Oh, you're watching this here video. Great night. Great night. You're not? Good. Certainly try that all over again tomorrow. We're going to see if we can get stuck. I'll get out and watch ya. It, it drops really far right in the center. Yeah, you're gonna drop really far right in the center with your phone in your hand. Can you hear the water running? Yeah, I think that's too deep. That might that might uh, put our exhaust underneath. Yeah, um, weird. It drops like waist deep, right in the center. Well, thank you for stopping and checking. <laughs> kind of like when we went to look at that property. What do you mean? On the lake, when I asked you to stop. Oh. Gotta go to the edge. the tree. Are you still on? Yes. That, that is the tree that Tracy killed. <laughs> it was dead. 
Isn't that a See? poor tree? Say poor, poor tree. She ran right up here. Nancy, do you? You know. And look at that rock. Okay, we were back in this area and we decided to leave and go to another area. So to get out of here, you just go down alongside there and we were all parked right up on the other side of that fence. All the snowmobiles were parked up there and me and Allie, it was me, then Allie. Everybody else up there, she was the last one. No, 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 Sammy was still over here. No, nobody was over here. I had to go around her. Nobody was over yeah, here. Everybody was over there. She was sitting here going this way. And Austin, she slowly started, I mean, slowly like this, guys. This is how fast she was turning. She was turning like this, and she was turning, and I said, I was watching her, and I said, she got straight, she got like this. She still had turning to do to go that way, but she got right here, and she hit the throttle full blast. And she came flying into here. She killed this, you see all this bark gone? That's her, she did all this. And she tore all this up, broken oh branches. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And that took her right off the back of the snowmobile. Yeah, that did it. You rolled yeah. right up here. And then the snowmobile went and the one ski went up that tree and it was cocked like this. And it was sticking like up that white tree. Yeah, you got knocked right off the back of the snowmobile. And then, and then she's going, she's sitting there and she's going, how are we going to get, because it was stuck, you couldn't back up. And, and she's like, how are we going to get this out and everything else and all this. And I said, well, and we moved the front ski over that tree. And I said, since you made the, the start of this, I need to continue. So then, <laughs> so then I shot up over this, through this hole, went down this ravine put it up on edge, and then rode it back up out of there. <laughs> this is the, the famous spot where the tree killer got her name. Now, would you like to explain it? Did it happen some other way than I just said? It did. And what it was really that? Y'all went down there. Y'all. You all. There. She was facing that way, and I was trying to get around her, and then she finally went, so I came around, and I don't know what happened. So pretty much exactly what I just said. No, I was not going that slow to begin with. She was. She was going super <laughs> slow. She was just barely turning, barely turning, and then further out, wrong, right through here. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody was okay. Yeah. It happens when you do off trail stuff. It happens. We don't know why it happened that time. <laughs> Nobody really understands why. Well, I was, it was the first time out. Yeah, it was the first time out. Had to get a scratch. <laughs> well, I think we're going to be heading home, guys. So, supper time. Oh, supper time. It's Taco Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, and it's tacos yeah. tonight. Right. We decided we're going to tacos. So, we're going to head back and have some tacos. So, we'll catch you guys later.